What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new MDT office slash room display action figure tour style deal. WWE, AEW, all the different figures, man. We have a lot of updates to the room, man. We have a lot of updates to the room, and I want to show it off in a video because I like to update myself so I can go back track what happens, all those different things. But we do have updates to the display. I'll take you guys through the entire deal. I know a lot of you guys enjoy the display and room tour style videos. So if you guys want to stick around, let's go ahead and dive into it. So before we even get started, man, I gotta give a huge shout out to my brother, all right? So this is one of my birthday gifts that he got me this year. And this is a massive MDT sign. And I do not know where to put it. I'm thinking up here, right? Like you would think it would go right up in there, but I don't think it could hang up there. It's very heavy and I would hate to hang it up there there, it fall and then just crush everything, right? It would crush my monitor setup down here. It would crush my figures, all these mock figures, all the chases. I mean, it could knock everything off the wall. So I don't know if I want to put it up there. I thought about putting it here, but I think it's too wide. You guys can see it's a, it's a big sign, man. It's very big. It's multi-layered. It's got very good details in here with the zebra stripe. You guys can see the MDT logo. He custom cut it. A beautiful sign. He did a fantastic job on it. It has great craftsmanship and stuff like that. And now that he's done stuff like this, I mean, the, the sky is kind of the limit on what we can do now so i my mind's going crazy with ideas so we will see about that but i love this sign a huge shout out to my brother again for this i love him i love this sign thank you so much for this sign we're gonna put this somewhere even if i have to put it in my effing living room we're gonna hang this sign up i just don't know where it is but i wanted to show this off because it's a beauty and i didn't know where to put it so for now it just kind of hangs around but it is a great looking sign so outside of our big sign you guys will also notice that one of the big changes is we moved the mattel make your collection elite poster now this is a poster that i think was passed out like during 2018 i think sd CC. You guys will notice on here there's a lot of older figures, right? Like these are all figures that are kind of older. It's, it's around the same time as the Retro Fest. Macho Man came out, the entrance grace, Jeff Hardy. Elite 57's on there, Elite 58, even like Elite 60, I think. I mean, Jesus Christ, you got Jericho from the Epic Moment set on there. So this is an old little poster here, but I framed it up and it used to sit right here, but I've been collecting chase figures, getting those in. So I moved it over here to the door and I think it looks good on the door. I'd like to see a new poster or even maybe a John Cena, one of my favorite superstars or something like that putting it on this door just so you'll have some symmetry between both doors that's besides the point but i do want to get up here and show off some of these figures up here on the chase wall because we do have some updates for it and i have picked up quite a few chases since the last time that we uh, you know we updated it here so you guys will see here once you enter in we do have sting we have the walmart exclusive sting we have the chase sting the one of five thousand there that's the one i got from gamestop the one that i found in the wild on my toy hunt is actually in my closet in there we have the one of five hundred that I picked up of Darby Allen. We have the one of 5,000. Up here, we have my one of 1,000 MJF, which is the first one I ever got. I purchased that one online. We have a trade that I did with my boy Seth from What's Poppin'. I traded for his mocks there from one of 5,000 from Series 8. We have the Shop AEW one of 3,000 Jericho that, uh, I don't know if you guys missed it, but yesterday the Kenny Omega went up. I did secure a Kenny Omega, so we will have that one here on the channel soon. We have the one of 3,000 Brit. Shout out to my man Paul for that one. We have the one of 5,000 Anna J that I found in the store. We have the one of 5,000 Nyla, which is actually a, a new add to the wall. Shout out to my man Michael for the trade on that one. And then uh, I had some gaps. So I had some gaps right here. Unmatched Series 3 has always been up there. But I had a couple gaps right here from moving the poster. So I went ahead and put up like a couple of my favorites. So I put up the Unmatched Series 1 Kenny. I put up the Series 5 Unrivaled Luchasaurus. And then we do have the exclusive LJN Cody over there to Walmart. So, you know, obviously, uh, in a, as more figures come in, I may have to like take that down and then fill up the wall. I don't know what I'll do there. You know, we're in the process of still getting a new house, so all this is eventually going to come down, and we'll have a brand new display, which should be epic, but I did want to document this just in case we move soon, and then, you know, I don't have an updated video, but there's the retro wall. You got all your retros going on right there. That's sort of like the main updates, but we do have other updates. Of course, we do have a roster wall here, which is going to matter very soon, because if you come over here to the arena, I have fixed up the crowd. So I redid the crowd. Crowd was all over the place. It was knocked over. I did redo the crowd got it all set up mdt live ring is completely cleared you guys have noticed that lately it's been filled up with figures such as these superstars here i got my mock set men on card and then i got my loose set there which i don't know where the hell i'm gonna put those but we did update everything you guys will not believe what's in this box you won't find out what's in this box for a very long time probably but should be by the end of the year because 
If you guys check out my Twitter, I took to the Twitter sphere and I said, if at AEW Double or Nothing, somebody debuted or surprised or whatever, I would get the big show out before the end of the year. And that would include three regular episodes of MDT Pick Fed. So you're talking about a vindication, two MDT Lives, and a big pay-per-view before 2022 ends, which gives us roughly six months, which is a ton of content Pick Fed related by the end of the year. So I had to do my due diligence. I had to get this all set up. We're going to roll with it. It's going to be clean. It's going to be fantastic. But I did want to update you on the Pick Fed Arena. I also have some more background stuff coming in. Right here, you guys can see we have our announcers and stuff like that. Right now, we do have me and Brad over here on commentary. We did fix up my figure, so I got the pink suit rocking. Here's that chamber that I still haven't used yet. It's a still a great piece. I, st I just don't know where to put it. So I just stick it right here. It kind of, you know, fills up the table there. I did get a couple new figures here. I got an extra SummerSlam Orton, and I got an extra SummerSlam Shawn Michaels. So we're going to fix these up on surgery, probably. I think what I want to do with this one is I want to update it with the new Orton torso. So take one of my white Ortons over there and fix it up on this body. Like, you know, have the tattoos up here on the shoulder blades, have the double joint arms in the white, and kind of, uh, and then I'll put this torso onto the white gear so you'll have sort of like a flashback Orton on new trunks and old trunks with new Orton body, if that makes sense. So we have those. I also updated the shelves over here. I put Rey Mysterio at the bottom. He used to be right here, but now I'm going to just put LJNs or whatever we get there. So Darby will go there, and, and I don't know what I'll put there. Right now I have my John Cena armband and can for my boy Brad. So I'm going to leave those there. I did update the bottom shelf, so we have Ray. We do have Eddie down there. So we got Eddie down there, and I had to move a lot of stuff around. But we updated the Shawn Michaels section with new figures. Everything's filling up, honestly. And then you have your big gap over there for John Cena because they keep plummeting. You guys can see there, they keep plummeting, and I keep having to put them back up. And then there's all those ultimates. So we will get everything under control, but this is what it's like, you know, when you get a bunch of figures coming in and stuff like that. You have the updated AEW shelf right here. No more space, really. You know, we, we, we got to get a new house and we got to get a new house now. It's kind of crazy because it seems like yesterday I was moving into this house because I remember uploading a video of all the big boxes of WWE figures. That was way before AEW and we had boxes all over the ground and we were unloading the boxes and I was showing everything off and this room was practically empty. So kind of wild, man. Blessed and highly favored. But outside of that, we still have our mock AEW shelf. Plenty of other mock AEW figures around, but uh, got the championships updated display over here. Yeah. Anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our update video. I wanted to show off the new updates to the wall and just kind of touch space with everybody and everything like that. But new stuff coming soon. Very exciting stuff. We should have MDT Live coming very soon, and it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff, man. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to Dwayne Johnson. And he commented on our video and said The Rock approves. So I don't think that's really Dwayne Johnson, but I wanted to give a shout-out to him anyways. And uh, maybe one day the the real rock will comment but huge shout out to Dwayne Johnson maybe he'll be a regular viewer of the channel we'll have to see but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys next time don't cross the line like Dwayne Johnson or the guy who created a fake Dwayne Johnson YouTube channel I guess you cross